Right, I just want to do a little update on these two. This is a million Nitro, Givendale Maximus and Givendale Cashera. And they've just come out of the kennel. Get down, don't get so excited now. Come on, babies. Always wanting to carry things, especially sticks, doesn't matter how big it is. Aren't you? Yes, you am a pony boy. Yes, you are. Come on, Millie. Now, all we're doing with them at the minute is, as, there you go, look. Doesn't matter how big it is. And she's the boss, actually. She's the most dominant of the two of them, even though he's bigger than Millie. Look. <laughs> um... Right, well, as I was saying, yeah, going back to, um, that, well, yeah, little, the, um, they're coming on really well, uh, good little retrievers, we've started a little bit of retriever training with them, nothing else apart from um, socialising and playing, um, the main thing, like uh, I often say before, starting from six, seven weeks old, uh, conditioning them, you know, to be all around you all the time. Um, basic recall, because this is where really problems start for people with spaniels. They don't encourage them all the time to be around them, to come back at request. And the next thing you end up with dogs that are kind of disconnected from you. So what we do is every day, two or three times a day, we just take them out like this and we let them get so far away from us when they will do. And then we call them back. <laughs> they come racing in like a pair of lunatics for a love and a pet. And then off we go again. So they're very comfortable all the time coming back to you. And it's amazing how I think a lot of people forget or, or don't realise that this is what you, you should be doing. And, you, you know, once again, you hear people saying, oh, you've got to do this and you've got to do that and you've got to be strict with them, you've got to be hard on them. That should never actually ever come into play because you should never get to that stage where you have to be really hard on a dog. A dog should want to do things for you because you've built a bond up of love and trust. And that's what we do with these two. We don't chastise them. They're only babies. We don't. We just play with them. All right. The jumping up thing, we'll curb that in a, in a few months' time. But we're gradually doing it now over a period of time. But like I say, the main thing is just to interact with them. Just to play with them, build that bond, get them doing everything you want them to do and they want to do. Make it fun, make it enjoyable. I'm really excited now about the next few years with this, this crossing of Jack and the New Flames. Um, really dark, deep chestnuts, the coats, intelligent. These two are learning so fast, like I say, the cheeky little devils always carrying things about complete pair of mischiefs aren't you yes you are you're a mischief yes you are and this one here is the biggest mischief millie millie yes oh, yes you are you're the biggest mischief aren't you yes you are yes you are hmm? you're the biggest mischief millie but that shows a lot of character in the dog when they're playful and wanting to interact with you all the time. That's what you want. You don't want a dog that's tail between its legs all the time and standoffish. It seems to have come through on modern breedings now a lot of timid dogs, a lot of timid spaniels. Um, we don't want that at all. I can't say that I'm blessed. Well, I can say that I'm blessed and I don't suffer from that. 
we can just have a two little monsters out of a litter of ten little monsters. Yes, don't we? Yes, we do. We just have two little monsters left who who will literally want to jump all over you and play with you. Ah, mind that barbed wire. So that's million nitro. We'll make another little video in here. Ah, uh, what have you got now? Thank you, Millie. In a few weeks' time, bit of plastic. We don't want you swallowing that. So that's million nitro.